நமாமி சின்மயம் தேவம் சத்குரும் பிரம்ம வித்வரம் வசுதேவசுதம் தேவம் கம்சாணூரமர்தனம் தேவகி பரமானந்தம் கிருஷ்ணம் வந்தே ஜகத்குரும் சிவபடிஜியன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஐ வாண்ட் டு announce about the gurudakshana envelopes as we introduce this topic of brahadaranyaka we mentioned about the gurudakshana where janaka was giving and dev shankara says that is the part of the jnana yagna ritual where after the yagna is over one has to offer something because one should not take anything free and that including the knowledge otherwise knowledge doesn't get retained so tvadiyam vastu govinda tubhyam eva samapai o lord this is yours only i am offering it to you because i have a notion that this is mine because i came into this world with nothing and i am going to leave this world i cannot take even a penny with me and i am sure other people are watching to make sure that i don't take any penny also with me <laughs> so everything i had to leave it here so what should i do scripture will say earn as much as you can don't hesitate in earning in a dharmic way so dharma artha with the dharma artha has to follow dharma and enjoy whatever can be enjoyed need to be enjoyed but ultimate goal is don't forget the moksha so whatever that you can earn that you have to spare some part of it for the continuation of this knowledge and that's part of the gurudakshana a tradition indian tradition the teaching has to be free actually and registration the charge is only for to make sure that people we didn't we were not charging any registration because people will said we'll come and then show up and we have ordered food and all that it became a waste so to ensure that people who call at least attend definitely so a compulsory registration was introduced just to cover the cost of the whatever the basic cost food cost but whatever the gurudakshana depends upon your capacity and also depends on how much you received if you have not received anything then there is no need to give anything but if you have received there is no to value you cannot put it but to the degree to the value you can put you should give and all the gurudakshana goes to the support of the mission only so nothing to me personally just for the information uh, so we will have a gurudakshana after the class is over and there are some gurudakshana there is a booklet that i will give in return for those who offer something and now let's look at the shloka 89 it says etasya va aksharasya prahasane gargi because of this only aksharasya this tasya this what you are talking about akashasya aksharasya prahasane this is called aksharab brahma this particular brahm the previous one called the the antarvyami brahman this is actually called akshara brahman and and it's called akasha also is called name is given as akara akshara means akshara means that which can destroy akshara means indestructible is the one that is and here how it is expressed in the previous one in the negative definitions are given and here is a positive definitions and definitions are expressed through its own expressions in what says in the in the science we follow what is the law behind it right what is the gravitational law this law that law and einstein was searching for what is the universal law i don't know many people are familiar with it he was looking for a universal law that which is the basis for all laws 
and he could not find it because he didn't study Brahmanubhavarne <laughs> Upanishad. Yes, this is the law that provides everything because that is the support of everything also. What is Acharasya Prashasani? By that rule only, he makes sure that everything follows. This is also in the Kathopanishad. This is said where the Chansurya and Chandra they go according to their assigned rules morning and evening you have sunrise sunrise all those things are gravitational force every force in the universe forces in the universe that are operating a scientist only discovering the forces you're not inventing the force he's only discovering that means he removing the cover that means it is there which is covered and that is discovering the laws of nature that's what that which are discovered and yet to be discovered are within the creation only and who is the author of those laws? And here is the specified here. Upanishad says that Prashasani, Surya, Chandra, Masau, Surya and Chandra are, Chandra Maj is, is moving according to their prescribed the schedule. Etasya va acharasya prashasani gargi, the Dhyava Prutivi Vidrute. Dhyava means the, the upper worlds as well as the the world Prutivi Vyav Vidrute. That which every, everything is followed. Vidhi. Vidhi Teme Vidrute. That which follows the rules. Tishtataha. Etasyava Acharasya Prasasne Gargi. Nimesha. The minutes. Muhurta. Muhurta is maybe an hour or seven hours or few hours. Some Muhurtam. And Aho Ratrani, the days and nights, Ardhamasa, the, the fortnights, and Masa, the full month, and Rutavaha, seasons, Samsara, Samvatsaraha, Iti, Vidrutaha, Tishtanti. So all the cycles of the day and day out and months and everything is regulated by that alone. So if somebody asks me in a hold or he said I have traveled around the sun 70 times. <laughs> Free ride. <laughs> so this is the cause it's uh, we don't age anything but we just travel along the earth and then say next year, next year, years are coming and going. He says essentially that's because of the, the dictation of the Lord himself. Etasya va acharasya prasasana gargi pracha Anya Nadhyaha Sindhati Svetobhyaha Parvati Bhyaha from the white Svetobhyam from the white Parvatas, you know, Himalayas, this the rivers that are coming, some are going towards eastward, some are going westward, some are going down. By whose who, whose role? Because of that. You may prescribe some local laws that are operating, oh, it is because of gravitation force, because of slope, all those things are all secondary factors from the point of Advaita Vedanta. The essential rules is they follow the rules of what? Of all white gas, they don't know. Why there is a zero degree absolute, they don't know. It is absolute zero, you extra oblate and that's where they mean. <laughs> that's how everything is, why gravitational force exists, it exists, period. Why the electrical charges have repel or something? There is a force of electrical forces, magnetic forces. That forces is there, but how, why, we don't know. And that's because of that which is beyond, that cannot be seen. And that is Aksharasya, Prasasana Egargi. The rivers are flowing. Yayam cha dishamanuhu. In whatever, whatever that is flowing in whichever directions is by that. Yetasya, Aksharasya. Prashasani, Gargi, Dadadu, Manushyaha, Prashasanti. It's a very funny statement here. It says, because of that alone, that people who give donations are being praised. Very funny statement, right? Because when you offer, when you give donations, you are losing money. So in the giving donations, the fellow is not gaining anything, he is losing, right? So there is a loss involved, then why should you praise? Hey, hey you are doing, you lost a lot of money. So we, we don't praise that. We praise him because he is giving for the benefit of something. And there is a punya palam and there is a punya pala data. Therefore, because of him only, he is happy in giving and we are praising him because he is giving, even though he is losing. Follow that? 
that's why even the giving of what giving for the good cause is praised by those giver even though there's a loss of things for him but he is essentially praised even for the loss because oh, by that giving he is giving adrushtapalam that which is not seen but that which is because of which unseen palam and who is the giver even the palam I cannot see but he is the giver of even the adrushta palam and because of you only. Now you follow how the logic is here. This is etasya va acharasya because of him alone this prashashani people are praising because there is a punya palam is involved and because of you only. Prashan santi yajamanam devaha Maya Anvayat Anvayataha Yajamanam Devaha Anvayataha Yajamanam Anvayata Yajamanam is the one who is doing offering and offering Deva for the Devas so law has been Devas are supposed to be powerful but they depend on Yajamani here the one who is performed the karma yoga, karmas and then he says Om Swaha right offering and that is the food then which they survive that's why nobody wants, Devatas don't want you to realize because then you will stop yajnas. Karma, karma kanda, you go on to jnana kanda. So, they want to make sure that you continue to feed them all the time. So, the karmas, they would like to continue. Says, so, here, by what law? Even though they are powerful, they depend on you for their food. So, that's what he says. He says, Yajamanam Anvayanti. And Dhirvam Pitaraha. So the, the, the parents, so they did one, that because they did one is the, is the a function, Pitru Karma, that is offered for the Pitrus and they depend on their children performing this Pitru. Okay? That is Shashanam by the Lord Himself. Let's do it 8.10. Yuva yeta dacharam gargi Avidvasmin loke Juhoti yajate Tapasta pyate Tapasta pyate Bahuni varsha sahasrani Antava devasya Tad bhavati Yova eta raksharam gargi Avidva avid aviditva Asman lokat Praitisa krupana krupanaha Athaya eta raksharam gargi Viditva Viditva Asman lokat Praitisa brahmanaha here Yajna Valkya is glorifying Yajnanam and Yeta Avat Yeta Raksharam Gargi because of that only Avidya if you don't know this that which is Aksharam that which is beyond all this Sharam that means if you don't know that the nature of the absolute reality Aviditva if you don't know and you are performing everything, Juhoti, Yajoti, Tapaswati, you may do perform Yajnas, Yagas, all that years and years and Tapas standing on one leg or two legs or whatever, whatever the Tapas austerities that you perform. But if you don't know this, all that are useless. Okay. Bahuni Varsha Saharani, you may do Bahuni Varsha, thousands of years Varsha, Samvachras, you can do it. Nothing will happen because Anta Vedasya Tad Bhavati, Anta Vadevasya Tad Bhavati, that all get perished. In the end, nothing is remains. You can do all Karma Yoga, Karma Kanda is being essentially rejected here as a means of Moksha. Okay? Yeva Deva Charam Gargi Avidva Asma Loka Praitisa Krupanaha. 
and the one who does not know this way living here and given the life here for you to live and given the life for you and the body mind and intellect as a human being and still not able to pursue that moksha to gain that knowledge aviditva if you don't know then he calls it krupanaha he is a miser guy he is not able to use what he is given so if he is holding that intellect for himself and not using that's what is a miser krupanaha so when he dies also he dies like a misery miserable fellow he keeps again being born and born again so you are looking for everything else in the world but forgetting this important thing and if you don't know this knowledge and you may spend the whole lifetime and many years and years nothing will happen all that will be a real waste only so he says essentially glorifying the this gnanam vedanta gnanam that is what is being glorified here अथयाक्षरम गागे विधि हाविंग नोन दिस् अस्मोक प्रति स ब्राह्मण बिफोर द डेथ ऑफ युवर ओन डाय बिफोर द बॉडी ऑफ द डेथ इफ यू इफ यू नो दिस् सह ब्राह्मण ये इज द ब्राह्मण ओके नाउ यू नो हू इज द ब्राह्मण द वन हू नोस् दिस् नॉलेज बिफोर यू डाय अट्लीस्ट okay so this is the very purpose of life itself otherwise punarapi maranam punarapi jananam jathare sayanam yaha samsare bahudustare kurbaya pare pahimurare bola this is a morning bird the cycle goes on and on and on and on and so here essentially glorified तद्वाक्षर गागी अदृष्ट द्रष्ट असुत श्रोतृ अमत मंत्रु अज्ञात विज्ञात नान्यदोस्तिदृष्ट नान्यदोस्तिश्रोत्र नान्यदोस्तिमंत्रु नान्यदोस्ति विज्ञात खलव खलवक्षरे गागी आकाश ओत प्रोत ओके ही इज कंक्लूडिंग द स्टेटमेंट रिमेम्बर व्हाट वाज द स्टेटमेंट व्हाट इज द ओत प्रोत फॉर दिस दिस ईश्वर आल्सो इज इज सेज दैट इज एसेंशियली that wa etar aksharam gargi that indeed is this aksharam that which is immutable and he repeats whatever that is repeated for what for antaryami ishvara adrishtam drishtam asrotam srotam amritam mantram vigyatam vigyatam nanya dosti drashtu remember all the statements were repeated before for ishvara now he is repeating the same statements for sagu nirguna brahman also bigras nirguna brahma cannot be described any other way through ishvara only so ishvara is important to recognize for me that which is beyond ishvara also so lord ishvara is the ishvara as manifestation of the totality in the form but ishvara himself is infinite but i can use ishvara in any form because he is infinite forms also so i can use any form for my worship knowing that it's not the form but it is because of which even the form exists also so that's what is all the vigraha radhana all that means is only that that which is unmanifest cannot be prayed so i am using just as i am saluting a piece of cloth with the stripes and all that as though it is a country but is a piece of cloth i know but i am saluting the nation same way i am not doing idol worship but i am the worshiping the totality itself express in this form and all the puja vidhi is done in that it is to that also so the bhavana should be there with that not for this local one स्वास्मिन बिंबे आवाहे आमी इन दिस बिंबम महागणपति महाविष्णु महाशिव ऑल दैट इज इनवाइटिंग टू कम इन दिस एंड देन आई डू पूजा एंड देन आई आस्क हिम प्लीज यू नाउ यू कैन गो आई डन माई जॉब यू आर बिजी पर्सन यू कैन गो सो 
Uh, same statement we say, uh, Sudam, Srodram, Amadam, that which cannot be known, that which cannot be thought of, that which cannot be, all that which applied that to the Antaryamin is applied to the Nirguna Brahma also, because Nirguna Brahma cannot be praised, cannot be thought of, cannot be meditated, cannot be done any puja. But yet, through Saguna Brahma only, I have to go to Nirguna Brahma. That's what is called through Lakshmi only, I can approach Mahavishnu. That's what the Sri Vishnu says. So it's through Lakshmi the Kala. Akaram is La Vishnu. Ukaram stands for Lakshmi and Makaram comes to Jiva. Ma has to go through A through Ukaram. That's called Vaishnava Siddhanta. <laughs> through Lakshmi means what? Through this whole pervasive universe only. What I see, I have to see in and through what I see, I have to see that which is Antaryamin, that which supports everything, yet I can which I cannot see. Remember? That's what is Vishnu. That's why Vishnu always carries Lakshmi. Without Lakshmi, he cannot be recognized. So somebody comes and says, knock the door, because October, October 30th is coming. So somebody knocks the door, I am Lord Vishnu, I thought you are looking for me. So you cannot open the door unless he shows his badge. What is bad? Lakshmi. He is Chate Lakshmi Shabatnyo Ahoratre Parshve. So he is defined as Lakshmi Pati only. Okay. So what is that Akasha? Akasha is that which is beyond, that which illumines everything and it is self-illumining and which cannot be known by any other process because I don't need any process also. Says that way in Atma Bodha, says gives a beautiful example just as the clouds are covering the sun i cannot see the sun why clouds are covering the sun how do you know clouds are covering the sun because i can see clouds in what light i can see in the sunlight only in the sunlight i can see the clouds but which is covering the sun therefore i cannot see the sun so what should i do so i blow the wind and the clouds are gone then what else i have to do to see the sun, nothing, sun is self-revealing, I don't have to do anything, there is called Phala Vritti is not there, in the Vedantic tradition, we call it Jnana Vritti and Phala Vritti, Pradhi Vritti for a Jnana Vritti can be removed by Jnana Vritti, remember there is no confusion here, a Jnana has to be removed by Jnana, by knowing, by learning, by teaching, by learning, by studying Vedanta only I can remove the Jnana. Then what else happened? Nothing. When Ajnana is removed, the self-shining sun is reveals himself. There is nothing much you do because you are that. Okay? All that is implied in this. That is Akasha Votas Protascha. Now we are coming to the ninth Brahmana. So with that, uh, the you can see, she is Uparama, 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 that means she kept silent. This is the, the Gargi says, yes, you answered my question. So two powerful arrows are gone waste. So it has been answered because for our benefit only she asked anyway. Now, after warning that no one should ask after this, because she already said, I am going to ask two powerful questions and if he answer these questions, rest assured that no one of you can defeat him. She declared already. Remember Pratamamala Nyaya? She was a champion there, <laughs> Brahma Vidya champion. And in spite of that, one by name Shakalya Brahmana gets up and asks questions. Okay, he asks all sorts of questions, what is that, what is that. So here he is talking about Hiranya Garbha, he is asking about the Hiranya Garbha and all about essentially in the, the Purva Mimansa aspect of it, Purva Kanda aspect of it. So it is a glory of Hiranya Garbha. Hiranya Garbha is what? Brahmaji. Brahmaji is what is Brahmaji in terms of explain to me in different devas and all that. He, Brahmaji himself is expressing in different gods forms. So how many gods are there? First he says there is one god. They say one and a half gods. There is then three gods. There is no, there are six gods. There is no, there are ten gods. There are thirty-two gods. There are three thousand 
वो आसान देने से अनंत अम इनफाइनेट गॉड वट इज वन ब्रह्मा जी बिकमिंग एवरी थिंग इज नथिंग बट गॉड ओनली सो एवरी वन दट ई बिकेम इज ब्रह्मा जी ओनली इन डिफरेंट गॉड्स फॉर्म्स ओनली एक्सप्रेसिंग ओके so when ask therefore ashtavida this this is eight fold hiranyagarbha upasana aspect is being discussed here so this is a stuti of hiranyagarbha his glory of hiranyagarbha that means brahma ji glory in various various forms of in the devas and this is a stuti in the old part of this brahmana significance and expressed in ashtavidhi hiranyagarbha upasana and also panchavidhi hiranyagarbha upasana five fold aspect as well as the eight fold aspect and in the in the 26th last of that here so after answering all those questions he keep on bugging him say what is that what is that which is that he says he answers everything and if you ask list me all the 30 2000 he say i cannot list all this he say okay i can list me at least few of them he say so here he is going to talk a little bit what exactly is pratishtha so sakalya is going to ask some more kasminnottam chat चात्मा च प्रतिष्ठि प्रतिष्ठिते प्राण कस्मिन्नु कस्ण प्रतिष्ठत अपान कस्वा पाण प्रतिष्ठ प्रतिष्ठि कस्मिन्नु So in between some sloka circum. Okay, let's first chant all this. Saye shaneeti neeti atma. Saye shaneeti neeti atma. Agrukhyo nahi grukhyate. Agrukhyo nahi grukhyate. Asiryo na si siryate. Asiryo na si siryate. Asango nahi sajjate. Asango nahi sajjate. Asito na vyadate. Asito na vyadate. Narishati. Narishati. Yetani ashtau. आयतना अष्ट लोका अष्ट देवा अष्ट पुषा लाप दे सो हियर सो यू कीप आस्कि वन बै वन सो कस्म च आत्मा आत्मा हियर इज यूज द वर्ड फॉर शरीर सो इन वाट वे दि शरीर इज सपोर्टेड that's the question is so is prana it now you know you will word now if you know what the meaning so prana support there kasminu prana ha prathi always prana is supported vya apana 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 is supported vyana and vyana is supported by udana and udana is supported by samana so all physiological support that means it is mutual dependence first question was before that is what is supports the mind that was before the question he says shariram supports the mind because without shariram the mind cannot have work of our mind needs a body it enters into the body and therefore upavishati statement is there and there once enters the body is become active so therefore it body supported with body supports the mind when there is no body then mind is not there it goes to some other look for another body so shariram supports the mind now what does shariram support that's what the question here is so pratyam and prana pana all the shariram is supported by all the physiological functions if the physiological functions don't work then shariram will not be useful so that's how the shariram is supported so that up to samana iti then yet they will skip the statement yesha eta neeti atma 
अप टू नरिष्यति अंसे ये तानि अष्टो आयतनानि दिस अष्टमूर्ति ब्रह्मन ब्रह्मन इस इस ये तान दिस इस व्हाट अष्टमूर्ति ब्रह्मा मेंस यू हैव टू कवर ऑल अदर थिंग्स दैट हैज बीन डिस्कस अष्टो लोका हा अष्टो देहा अष्टो पुरुषा हा ये तानि सर्वानि ऑल दैट इस नथिंग बट ब्रह्मा जी इन एक्सप्रेस इन Okay, let's read next. We'll come back to other one. Okay. So up to that is answering of this Kalya because he went on bugging because this is almost 26th mantra. We are not going all the one, two, three, four because that's all bugging away this Shakalya one by after one after the other. So we are coming almost like 20th end of it. End of it. This is the answer he gave. Now he kept quiet after that. Shakalya did not have any more questions now. Now, Yajna Valkya ask question. You have been bugging me so much, now answer this question. Yajna Valkya, because understood by the questioning of Sakala, he knows only Purva Vimamsa. That means he knows only the previous first part of the Karma Kanda only he knows. He doesn't know Jnana Kanda. He understood. So, therefore, now he is asking the question related to the the highest philosophy that we discussed, we just met now. So that was the question now. Yastan Purushan Purushan Nirukya Nirukya Yastan Purushan Nirukya Pratyukhyat Kramat Tattva Upanishadam Purusham Pruchami Tamchen Meda Mena Vivasyasi Murdhati Vipashyatiti Tamhani Mene Sakalyaha Tasyaha Murdhaha Vipapata Apihasyam Parimoshi Apihasya Parimoshino Astini apaprajuhu, apaprajuhu, anyan manya manaha. Okay, continuing. Saha yastan purushan. Here, another beautiful definition is giving, is coming up with it. That purusha here is opanishadam purusham. Upanishadam Purusha means that Purusha which is being defined by the Upanishad. So that Purusha being defined means that is supreme highest reality that being pointed out by the. So here is the statement Upanishadam Purusham. This Shankara quotes this all the time. Upanishadam Purusha means that Purusha that is being pointed. Purusha means that enlivening entity, Purusham, Pragutim, Jaiva, that Purusha which scriptures define Purusha, not other Purushas that we everybody define, that which is Upanishadam Purusham is what is called Brahman. Brahman is being defined by here Yajna Valkya with the statement Upanishadam Purusham. And there is also Rugveda Mantra. Because Upanishadam, Brahma Ushadam, Brahma Upanishadam is a, what was this mantra? Santi Mantra. I will come back again before it comes. Anyway, he is asking now, Yastan Purusha Nirukhya Pratyukhyutya Kramat. So that which is essentially beyond all these things, that Purusha, and Atikrama, that Atikrama, that which is orders everything, that is beyond everything else. So, so this is essentially, let me. So, ya sa yasman purusha nirushya pratihukhyati. Nirushya means that which is creating everything, that purusha, that which is supreme reality, that is creating nirushya, means that is creation. Pratyukhya, that means withdrawing, that which is creating as well as withdrawing. That means there is that from which the whole universe came and that which it, which it is decided back. And Atyakramat, that which transcends the universe also. It is creating at the same time, it is beyond the creation and beyond everything else. So that is Atyakramat. And 
that Upanishadam Purusham, that which is described by the Upanishad as a Purusha. Prachami, I'm going to ask that. You tell me that. Tan, tan chen me na vivashasi, and you tell me about what that is. Essentially, I'm asking about it. That Purusha, which is the creator and which is sustainer, obviously implied, and that which is dissolver, and that which is beyond all this creation also, and that is beyond too. And that which is Upanishad, Upanishad talks about. And that Upanishad, now tell me what about it. Tell me about everything about it. Now teach to explain to me what that Purusha is. Puchami, I'm asking that. Tan chet me na vishyati murdhati vipatishyati ti. If you don't answer this question, your head will fall. <laughs> My God, this <laughs> is very dangerous here. Tam na vivatshati chet. If you cannot clearly explain to me, te murdha vipatishyati ti. Your head shall fall from, from this. Tam he na mene shakalya. Shakalya did not know answer for this okay therefore what happened so therefore tasyaha murda vipapata therefore his head fell down and the scripture says says api asya that is his this astini hasya parimoshinaha parimoshina means robbers astini aprajakruhu anyad manyamana Thinking that they are something else, this, the, the robbers took away those bones. Now, what is this is the statement here, but there's a background story that is from the comes from the uh, because this Yagyavalkya and Sakralya they met before in the other place in the Karmakanda area that is Ashtadhyayi of Karmakanda. This is Shankara's explanation so before that day they had an argument and Shekalya bugged him there also and he gave a curse there that because of your bugging me your head will fall and when the head falls then the sishyas took the head and burned it and got the bones and they were taking the bones to the to the home and because they were in the package the robbers thinking that there is a lot of wealth the anya thinking that it is something important they stole the bones also so the bones did not reach home. <laughs> that's what. That is all the part of this of the of the karma kanda. So essentially, what it, implication of what Shankara says is, don't insult a wise person. That is the message is, respect the. Don't go to a, a, a any person. Hey, he is not realized. He is this and all that. Go go evaluate. First of all, we don't know who is realized or not. Don't go and evaluate and make a judgment call about the people. If you respect him, otherwise just leave from there. So here disrespecting the jnani is causes problem to you itself, not for the others. Because you are finding fault even with the jnani also. A jnani is you find fault, but a jnani is also you are finding faults. So that is the message as per Shankara, the story of the message. Now, what was the question he asked? Who is that one that is beyond all this creation and sustenance and that supports that to Upanishad Murusham, that Upanishad teaches? What is that person? Tell me about it. He did not answer. Yajna Valkya does not answer. Why, why should he answer? He only asked questions and other fellow could not answer. He is only challenging here, right? So who will answer now? Upanishad comes to our rescue and answer the question. Out of compassion, now remember we missed some slokas now <laughs> that we have to say that saha, that purusha, now we, we chanted anyway, saha yesha neti neti atma. So Upanishad is answering before the question. Isn't it? Because this has to be done after the answer because Shankara says Upanishad is very eager to answer because he doesn't want to people to know wrong things. So it is so enthusiastic to answer to, to the decide to the people who want. So it is answering before everybody else answers. So that's why Upanishad is answering the 
question that is going to be posed by which Shakalya will not answer it knows. So therefore it's an Upanishadic answer. What is the answer? So this is by Upanishad, not by Yajna Valkya, not by Shakalya. So Saha Yesha Neti Neti Atma, that Atma which can be known only by Neti Neti, not this, not this, not this, by eliminating this Nama Rupas only, by all the names and attributes of all this, reject it and what remains, don't say nothing remains. What remains is the one who is negating. Not this, not this, I can eliminate everything. I am not the body, I am not the intellect, I am not, but I cannot negate myself. Because for me to negate myself, I have to be there. I can dismiss everything, but I cannot dismiss myself. That which remains, neti neti, atma, that is atma. Agrahyo nahi grahyate, that which cannot be grasped and that which cannot be, that which grasps everything, but that which cannot be grabbed is agrahya and never can be grabbed. And that which is imperceptible, this is agrahya magotram avarnam achachu sotram tadapani padam nityam vibhu sarogatim sasurcham yadbhuta yonim paripasyanti dhiraha. So that agrahyam, that means it cannot be objectified in any other way. Grahanam, you see. In perception, not perceptible. Asiriyo nahi siriyate. Siriyam is decaying. That's why it's called sheriram. Is that which is siriyate. Is that which undergoes destruction is sheriram. That's the definition of sheriram itself is. Siriyate is sheriram. So that, that which is never undergoes any definition, any decay at all. Undecaying that never, de since it never decays. Asango nahi sadhyate. It is never attached to anything and therefore it is unattached. Asito na vidyate. Asitaha means perturbation. It is unperturbed and therefore never gets perturbed. And narishyati. Narishyati means that which never undergoes any suffering. And that is that which is sahayasmat purusha nirushyo pratyukhyati akramat. That is Upanishadam purusham. So with that, Shakalya story is over, right? Now, Yajna Valkya turns around to other Brahmins. So nobody is asking. Says, anyone else, please ask the final call. <laughs> so anybody wants to challenge me, please ask now. Because after what happened to Shakalya, nobody dared to ask. <laughs> <laughs> dare to ask any more questions. <laughs> then he ask, if you are afraid of it, you can collectively ask. <laughs> Even then nobody just looks at each other and because Gargi already said not to ask any more and Shakalya necessarily ask and therefore suffer the consequence of that also. So there is another reason why. So therefore Yajna Valkya poses a question still if anybody wants to answer, if you don't want to ask, it's okay, but I'm going to ask a question. So everybody, anybody you can answer. So that's what 28, of which only we are going to take the seventh sloka. So up to that seventh sloka, this is Yajna Valkya, he's doing all that up to six sloka is Yajna Valkya. So he's describing the Jiva in terms of a tree. And each branch of that tree is being described of part of the jiva. That came from this. Okay? The whole chapter, remember? The, the 15th chapter. So that what is Agnivalka described. And in the end, says, Jata Eva. Na jayate, kun venam, jana yet punaha, vignana manandam brahma, ratir dhatu, parayanam, chishtamanasya, tadvida iti. Okay. So the question is, is that after that, see that jiva, 
See that which is jata eva, that which is as though born, na jayati, it's not born. Kanvenam jata that what is that which is getting again born and born and which is never born again. What is that? So the question itself is very complicated, appears <laughs> complicated. So he confused enough, what is that which is never born but appears to be born? And that appears to go born not only once and many, many times, at the same time, puna punaha, at the same time he is never born also. What is that? Tell me. So no one could answer. Yajnavalka didn't answer. Because he only asked the question and he got all the cows, so he went with the cows away. So he is gone with the thousand caves. So now Upanishad Sasruti is answering now this question. Now what Agnyamalka says. So again the definition of the Brahman is coming. Vijnanam Anandam Brahma. What you say is asking that which is never born, which is eternal, but appears to be born in varieties and names and forms, that which is beyond the birth itself, that which is that which is imaginable, unimaginable, indestructible, and that is Vignanam Anandam Anandam Brahma, that Vigna pure consciousness which is that anantam, therefore anandam. So vijnanam brahma, this is essentially the Mahavakya of the Upanishad. This is pragnanam brahma, is the Upanishad statement. Here it is vijnanam brahma and it is being alone, nothing else other than this. Therefore it is anantam, therefore it is anandam. Therefore vijnanam anandam brahma is one of the famous definitions of ananda as a positive definition. Ratir Dhatu Parayanam. So Ratir Dhatu, Rati is essentially wealth. So Rati, the very source of all the wealth is Parayanam, is the very essence, is the giver of all the wealth that you can think of. He is the very source from which you feel you ought to go. He is the one who gives everything. So what I have is his gift to me. Remember? What I have is his gift. What I do with what I have is my gift to him. Now that's a Gurudev statement and this is from say whatever that all wealth, every wealth, either it is a, the financial wealth or the greatest wealth is the knowledge itself because the, that is the knowledge where by giving you don't lose it. All other wealth by giving you are losing it. Whereas the knowledge is the wealth where by giving others you don't lose it. In fact, your knowledge will grow up. It's a big peculiar now wealth. That is the knowledge of that is because of the Vijnana Mayam aspect of involved. Therefore, that is refuse for all Prayanamis. It is a source, it is a refuse for it for which the all wealth itself. Tishtamanasya, the one tad vidahaiti, the one who is tishtamanaha, the one who is that viditva, knowing which tishtamana means who is Brahmanishta, who is one who is abiding in the knowledge. Now he is Brahman, therefore he is Vijnana Mananda, he is the source of everything else. Now you follow now? It's essentially, first he says Brahman as though something else, but he is bringing back, says the one who knows this. And also Tishtamanaha, the one who is abiding in this knowledge, that is Brahmanishta, that means that which is fully knows I am Brahman, and he is knows Brahman, he is Brahman now, right? Because he understood I am Brahman. So that's why Brahma with Brahmaiva Bhavati, knower of Brahman, becomes Brahman. Therefore, he is therefore Raturdhatu Paranam. He is the wealth, he is the source of everything else because everything is from him. So how can he be source of everything? So any jnani sir, please give me, he is asking for uh, Gurudarshanas only. <laughs> how can he be source? He is a source because anything that you get is only from the Brahman only. Whatever source you think is not from something that my boss gave, my this gave, it's all from the world, from the universe only you are taking, from him only you are taking and give back you are hesitating. Right? 
what's called is a problem right where it is his only but you are taking ownership that ownership itself is the problem i don't really own anything because with nothing i can take with me so how can i own it so ownership itself is a problem that is a notion of ownership but when you use it use it as his prasadam for transactional purposes okay you have to be careful not that you don't i don't know this has to be understood correctly so understanding is as long as you are earning it is his prasadam that's why whatever i have his his gift to me health wealth everything including bharya but everything all everything that is says is is only a gift from him with that attitude if i have then i have a referential because whenever prasadam is given what do you do we take with a reverential attitude because it is coming from him that prasada buddhi has to be there all the time and that is essentially so stishta manasya one who is abiding in that tadvidaha iti that is the true knowledge and he is the one to be respected iti nam brahmana iti struti adhyaya iti is summer camp this <laughs> this this camp over some of the heart with that we'll stop so the idea is not to end the text start is this is only a continuation where i have been exposed to the knowledge now i have to study and understand and keep that knowledge in mind until we come back for the monikonda 2 <laughs> with that we will stop and we will do purnamada then after that we have gurudaksha envelopes if you don't have money if you don't have check write it down i o u our our very treasurer is very very careful and very efficient so he will make sure that you write your address though <laughs> so if you write your address and you can put i o u also and he will make sure that he o he must you o the mission you are giving to the not to person for support of the same brahma vidya so that this can be propagated if you have got benefit out of this camp then you have to return back in some form you didn't get any benefit at all then you don't have to give so with that i would like to start let's do purnamada purnamida om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ